everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Hint of Love Cup Cozy, which you can see here in front of you. These are fairly easy and quick to work up and uh, they're used worked using basic stitches such as slip stitches and single crochet stitches. I have embellished a couple of my uh, plain ones with a simple heart charm but they also look wonderful worked in multiple colors uh, without the charm as well. So for this pattern you're going to need about 40 yards in total per cup cozy. I am using this uh, yarn uh, the Capri Eco Cotton. It's a cotton polyester blend a medium four weight so you're going to need about 40 yards in total per cup cozy. The colors shown here are rose which is my pink and cream and I am going to be working in those colors today. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. The links to these will be in the description of this video. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of other great free crochet patterns. And this uh, channel is updated every single week. So for our pattern today, we're going to start uh, by working in rows. And we're going to start with a color A, which I'm going to use this rose pink color. For my color A, you're going to start by making a slip knot. And these cup cozies, when they are finished and lying flat, they measure approximately four by four and a half inches and uh, will fit your travel mug nicely. So what you're going to do is start by working a foundation chain and you're going to chain a total of 17 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to start by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. You will have a total of 16 stitches once you come all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to be working in the back loop only and actually every row from here on until you start working your edging. To find your back loop only, you're looking at the top of your stitch. You have a horizontal bar that runs closest to you and this one that is further away. That is your back loop only. So for row two, you're going to insert your hook under that back loop only of the first stitch and slip stitch. You're then going to slip stitch under the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row two, you can either continue working in your color A, as I showed you, they look great in a solid color, or you can pick up your color B and place it on your hook and just pull through. I then just pull my color A a little bit tighter to help secure it. You're then going to chain one with your color B and turn your work. In this pattern, because we're working in edging, we're going to leave our color A and then eventually our color B attached and we're going to carry it up the top of our cup cozy. So next for rows three and four, once again, working in the back loop only, using your color B, you're going to slip stitch in that first stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one 
and turn your work. So work two rows of slip stitches in the back loop only in your color B. At the end of row four, you're simply going to drop that color B if you are switching colors. Pick up your color A, which is still hanging attached, and you're going to just very carefully draw it through, place it on your hook and draw through. You don't want to leave it too loose. You want to make sure that there's not too much thread here. You want it just lying nicely along the top. Tighten up your color B there a little bit and chain one. You're then going to, as you did before, work two rows in your color A and then switch back to your color B, which will be hanging down there on the side. You're going to continue to repeat this, working slip stitches in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across, working two rows in each color. Uh, you're going to continue to repeat this until your work from the beginning measures about six and a half inches. So that's from this edge right here all the way up until it measures about six and a half inches. And then you can meet me back here and we'll work the edging. Once you have worked your six and a half inches, this is sort of the back side and then when I turn it over, I have these nice clean stripes. What we're going to do is we're going to seam these two short ends together. So you're going to fold it so that your wrong sides are, or your right sides are together. Your wrong side is facing out. And it's up to you whether you want to use your color A or your color B. I think I'm actually going to switch back here to my color B and you can just chain one. You can then fasten off whatever color you are not working in. So you're then going to fold it. We'll weave in that end later and then turn it so that you're able to work along the edge. You're going to be working along these two short edges and what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch working in the back loop only of both thicknesses. Now if you find that uh, you don't like the way that seam is going you can switch it up a little bit try working in the front loop only of one and the back loop only of another it's really up to you but you're just going to slip stitch a seam all the way down these two short ends. Make sure that you're matching up your stitches. You don't want to skip any. You don't want to work uh, two stitches in any one stitch. You just want to work your simple slip, slip stitch seam all the way down this short side. Once you have worked your single crochet stitch or slip stitches all the way across your seam, you're going to turn your cup cozy so that it is right side out. You're now going to work an edging around the bottom of your cup cozy and the top. It doesn't matter which side is which. Today I'm going to start on the bottom. And as long as you have the color still attached that you want to work your edging in, you can simply chain one. Otherwise, you'll want to join with a slip stitch and then chain one. Now what you're going to do for the bottom edging is you're going to work 26 single crochet stitches evenly around the edge of your cup cozy. Now I found when I was working my cup cozy that six and a half inches meant that there was 26 different colored stripes. So I'm working one single crochet into each stripe but yours might be different depending on your uh, particular tension. So the important thing is that you have 26. Again, you can change it if you'd like. You'll just want to have a couple more stitches around the top than you do the bottom. And you want to make sure that you're not making the bottom too wide so that your cup doesn't slip through when you are using it. So I'm working 26 
single crochet all the way around then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch at the end of round one of your cup cozy bottom you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch do not turn your work for round two we're going to chain one and simply work a single crochet into each stitch all the way around when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into your first stitch at the end of round two of the bottom join with a slip stitch into that first stitch do not turn you're then going to chain one we're now going to work some spike single crochet stitches these single crochet stitches are going to be worked over top of the stitch in the row below and into the stitch two rows below so for instance this first one this is your first stitch and we're going to work it into the space just under the first stitch so insert your hook drop your hook to the height of your single crochet yarn over and pull through you're going to work a spike stitch over each stitch all the way around this is going to give you a little ridge of texture uh, at the bottom end so continue to work your spike single crochet stitches all the way around join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch at the end of round three for your bottom join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch you're then going to fasten off and you can go ahead and weave in your ends next turn your cup cozy over you're going to work along the other side now and we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch into the top I'm going to be working over top of these tails so if you see other strands there that is why you can then once you've joined with a slip stitch chain one and you're going to this time work 28 single crochet stitches evenly all the way around uh, you want the top of your cup cozy to be just a little bit wider uh, as our cups typically get wider as we go closer to the top of the rim uh, so you want your cup cozy to get a little bit wider up at the top I've just I found that we just needed to add two stitches so we're going to single crochet 28 stitches this time all the way around make sure that you're working over top of these little strands that you can see there that were from when you carried your yarn up the side so work 28 single crochet stitches at the end of round one of your cup cozy top you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one now for round two of the top single crochet into that same stitch is joining and then into each stitch all the way around at the end of this round you'll still have a total of 28 single crochet stitches at the end of round two for your cup cozy top join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch chain one just as you did before for round three we're going to work our spiked single crochet stitches into the stitches two rounds below and we're going to work a spiked single crochet in each stitch all the way around now when you come to your first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch fasten off weave in your ends and that is all there is to working your hint of love cup cozy so thank you so much for joining me and uh, 
once again. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. If you happen to make this cup cozy, feel free to share it with me and uh, tag Rich Textures Crochet on, uh, on social media. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.